Hey guys, Crewman here, and a few days ago I did a stream on RDNA 4 and everything I knew, and I put my own two cents in it. I thought it was a wonderful stream, that I think had a lot of good data. Uh, credit to Red Gaming Tech, he helped me a lot getting ready for this stream too. So shout out to him and you should give his channel a follow. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoy it, and it's a longer video because it's, it's basically just me streaming. I edited it out for time, but it's still pretty long. However, that said, I think it has a lot of good information that I think you guys will enjoy. So without further ado, today's stream, we are going to focus on RDNA 4 today. There was a lot of um, negative press that kind of got when they were talking about using slow 18 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory. Made me want to do a deep dive into RDNA 4, and I found a lot of good stuff. So let's start with one thing too. Uh, big, big shout out to Red Gaming Tech. Uh, I DM'd him and he helped me corroborate some of what I said and he was kind of like, no, this is not what I've heard or this is what I've heard. Anyway, most of what he could be said can be found in this video. You should go check it out on his channel. It is a fantastic channel. What I want to talk about is I want to talk about it on two different fronts. I want to talk about it from gaming and I want to talk about it from mining perspective. I want to start off with just the GPU in general. Right, and like I said, check out this video. Moore's Law is dead, did some stuff too. So here's what I know about RDNA 4. So this is what I know, and then I'll talk about what I'm using to fill in the gaps. Okay, and this is common knowledge, some of this is. All right, so there are two dies. There's N44, and then there's N48. All right, the big thing that I took out of both of these, all right, so there's two, there's two big points of information for each of them to try to simplify this as much as I can. All right. So N48 or N44 has a 128 bit memory bus. 128. Um, now remember, everything I'm telling you here is all rumors. So take it with a grain of salt. Now, the interesting thing to note is the 4060 Ti is also a 128 bit bus, right? So just keep that in mind. So then, so then N44 also has about 32 workgroup processors. Now, the thing you have to know about workgroup processors is they're basically the same thing as compute units. Now, some of you might already know this and some of you might not. Now, I'm going to show, talk about N48 real quick. Now, N44 is supposed to be like low end to mid range. I'll go into that in detail in a second. So, N48 is the high end, right? You're, it's going to have about 64 workgroup, so, and a 256 bit mem bus okay which is good uh, i don't really like the 128 and it's going to have 64 work group so remember that equals compute units so this was this stuff is mo more or less confirmed okay now what what right what red gaming tech moore's law and other people have said to me or have said moore's law doesn't talk to me um is that the target performance is a little bit better than a 7900 gre no target on the n44 if you if you kind of look at some older gpus if you look right so this has about a 128 bus bit bus as well and if you look at the compute units they're right there 32 so you can kind of infer right at the low end you'll pro they're probably targeting like somewhere between a 7600 xt and I would think a 7700 XT because I was checking out their stats too. They also have uh, about the same amount of compute units. It's about well, it's 54, so it's a little it's a little more. But I was kind of thinking they were going for like um, a mix of a 7700 like non XT was kind of like where I thought they were targeting it. Now now this is like this target part right? This is me. This is not confirmed. This is even less. This is my guess. It's like a, it's like a 7700 non XT. I was just watching some more videos and just trying to piece together information. There were some interesting things that I did not get confirmed. So the first thing that I was not able to get confirmed is we don't know if the if the BIOS is going to be locked down, which is a big deal, especially if you're a GPU miner. Um, I asked around to see if anybody could confirm that it was either going to be like the RDNA 2 BIOS. It's You can do whatever you want with it. I mean, you see how awesome the 6600, uh, 6600 XT, 6800, 6700 are at mining. Or if it's going to be like the RDNA 3 BIOS 
And we all know how awful the 7000 series is for mining. So I asked around for that and nobody could confirm whether the BIOS is going to be locked down or not. Which is interesting because... If the BIOS is locked down on these things, I don't think they're going to be good mining GPUs. Like, I think they're going to be terrible mining GPUs. But if it's not locked down, oh my goodness. If this BIOS is not locked down, these things could blow Blackwell out of the water. They could absolutely blow Blackwell out of the water in terms of mining. They could be the next-gen Polaris. Like, picture a GPU like the RX 580 or the 480 or whatever that is actually efficient that doesn't suck power like a monster like you we could be talking like 6600s and 6600 xts on steroids now this brings me to another point now i poked around you know like i have very very limited contacts and when i say very limited i mean like maybe like a little bit more than you guys who don't do anything with youtube i asked about the price now i heard some off the record things that i can't repeat um that i found interesting but my guess now keep in mind this is my guess this isn't backed up by any knowledge. Nobody's told me anything. I don't know anything. So what I'm about to tell you is just a guess. I think the target price, I think the target price is going to be 400 to 425 to four or 450. I'm sorry. And the reason I say this right with, with no credibility or no nothing, like this is just my opinion is because if you go and look, right, if we look at Best Buy right now and we type in the 7900 gre now if you guys aren't in america you might not have a best buy but look at the price of the 7900 gre right now it is 540 dollars, and you can buy it easy peasy lemon squeezy right if you're going to release an rx uh 88 gre let's just say it's the rx 8900 gre I i'm pulling a number out of my butt but whatever next gen n48 is called if you're going to charge 500 dollars, nobody's going to buy it because the big supply of 7000 series will go down even less. They have to give they have to make you want to buy it. I mean, we could maybe get an R like a like a $400 to $450 RX 7900 GRE. And I think the craziest part of this, right? If they price it at this, I mean, it's going to be the best buy for gamers. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a monster for gamers, right? But for miners, if these things are $400, okay, depending on what the market looks like, even if the BIOS isn't locked down and it's a less efficient 3070 in terms of like, say, mining Ironfish. I did a, I did a video on Ironfish mining with the 7900 GRE and how terrible it was. It would still probably be worth it because you're going to pay like 80 bucks more than a, seven, than a 3070 and you're going to have like warranty protection now this is assuming the 3070 hits like 400 dollars, which maybe it will maybe it won't or even if it's still current market which is like three 300 to 350 um you're gonna get a warranty you're gonna get a newer card it's gonna be better in gaming it's gonna have better resale value even if these things are bios locked down i think they still could be not the goat for mining but like solid for mining but like i think 400 to 450 dollars. i just i just don't think that they could do anything less and like especially if they're not going to compete with Blackwell. If they're not going to complete compete with the 5090 and the 5080 this year, then why not get these out this year and and just win the holiday season? Because why on earth would you buy, you know, even a 4090 at like $1000 if you could buy a 7900 GRE at 400 or an 8800 or whatever they call it. From what I've heard on the internet, uh basically like I haven't had anybody talk to me about this. The only reason Nvidia would release the would release Blackwell early is because AMD's uh, AI GPUs are gonna like be really really good and basically force their hand on their AI GPUs and because the AI and gaming GPUs are so similar they are basically gonna have no choice but to release Blackwell. But could you imagine, right? Like if N48 costs 400 to 450 dollars, could you also imagine? if blackwell paper launches right like if only a few people get 5090s and everybody's angry because so like on one half you have like a gpu shortage and on the other half you have like amd gpus cheap and readily available like that would be a boom for amd that would be crazy for amd now n40 now moving on to n44 right the pricing gets a little wonky there because like if they're gonna go for like and now remember this is just me guessing, 
right? I got to make sure I put this in here. This is just me guessing, right? Like if they're going for like a 7700 non XT, if that's like their performance they're going for, for like the strongest N44 die, like the 79, the 7700 costs 400 bucks. So obviously it's going to cost less, but you have to make people want to buy it and you can't price it too close to N48, right? Because do you guys remember the launch price of the 7900 non XT? The 7900 XT was priced at $900 at the launch price. And the 7900 XTX was $1,000. So it literally made no sense to buy the 7900 XT. Just spend the extra 100 bucks. If you're going to spend a $900, what is the difference between 1000 And I know some people will gawk at that. But like at certain price ranges, when you get so close from one range to another, then, then who cares? Um, I think it's got a cost, right? Like, I think it's like if 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 the seventy seven if the seventy seven hundred XT costs four hundred dollars, right? Which you can see it right here. I think it's got to cost like two fifty to two seventy five. Is my thought. Like, I think that N forty four has to cost two seven like two seventy five. Is what I think. If it costs two seventy five, if they're gonna release N forty four for two seventy five, it is going to destroy. Nvidia. Now we know as far as mining, it's going to have a crappy memory bus, which is not going to be the best. But I mean, the 4070 Ti or the 4060 Ti does fine at $300 with that kind of memory bit bus. So if this thing is going to be 275, even if it's not locked, even if it's locked down, it might be viable. And if it's not locked down, if N44 is not locked down and it costs 275 guys i i mean it's gonna throw the used market in a disarray it's gonna throw everything in a disarray like sell your 3070 sell your 4070 ti's buy as many n44s as you can it is going to be like mining goat mining uh i don't know i don't even know how to describe it in a way that will get not get me censored it's gonna be like the best mining gpu in the last like five years basically in the last six years it's gonna be the new goat so that's really, uh, I mean, and then the final thing I want to talk about with N44 or RDNA4, um, there was a lot of hubbub and hoopla uh, about the slow GDDR6 memory that they're going to use. And I want to say that I love it because using GDDR6 memory keeps the price down, which makes these price targets somewhat like not me smoking hopium and maybe they can happen. And number two, to give you an idea, the 4070 Ti only has 21 gigabits per second GDDR6X or GDDR6 memory. Like, look at this. And the 4070 Ti is a fantastic gaming GPU. Like, I don't know why people are complaining that much. And in terms of like gaming performance, it's not really that much slower. Uh, it, you really don't notice it. Bandwidth would be very similar to a 4070 Ti from what I understand using that memory, 18 gigabits per second memory. There was actually one more thing that I did want to talk about, and this was gaming. This is old information, but they're talking about as far as ray tracing, they're talking N48 could have a slight bump in ray tracing performance, right? They're talking maybe like a 25% RT increase, which would be a big deal actually. So if you compare it to the GRE, right, I ran a Cyberpunk 2077 benchmark and in-game performance test. And at 1440p RT medium, I get about 38 FPS. If it's a 125% FPS bump, like they think, then you're talking potentially like 40, 47-ish FPS. And depending on how locked down the BIOS is, you're talking like 50 to 55 FPS, which is a huge deal. And at $400 could make the uh, 8800 or whatever N48 is going to be called a viable alternative to NVIDIA for 1440p ray tracing gaming, which is ginormously huge in my opinion. That was the last thing in my notes I wanted to read. All right, guys, um, that was it. If you want to watch the full stream, there is a link down below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more GPU content. Crew man, out.